All right, hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Corey Dowds, I'm a Vedic astrologer. For those of you who've been following, um, I've been doing a lot of financial astrology since 2020. Um, still doing all the other uh, more in-depth psychological readings and all, but I just feel like there's a lot of stuff going on in the world that we can't really change, but some of the only things I can do is help bring more spiritual abundance or more healing or more just financial abundance, you know? So, I wanted to share another little uh, prediction that I gave and that came true for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So, I predicted that, oh, and I predicted this in our ongoing financial and crypto courses. So, check those out if you're an astrologer or if you're just really into crypto and you want to get forecasts because they've been, we've just, Y'all know me, I do astrology in a very scientific, logical, formulaic way, and we found techniques and methods that just work in a repeatably very high level. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate here. So you've seen the previous videos where, you know, the first, that, that all-time high for Bitcoin in 2021 of April, I predicted that window in my interview with Ernst, where I only gave two dates to look forward to in April, and those were the dates that we broke records. So I got that first try. Um, one shot only. Then the uh, July, late July window that I predicted in the last video you can watch about the return of the bull market when Jupiter retrograded into Aquarius, that was the only window I gave for the return of the bull market. We nailed that. So again, one shot only. Scientific astrology. It's repeatable. You can set your watch to it. Then, now again, in, eight, in October, we had another all-time high for Bitcoin and other cryptos, I think, um, and but mainly for Bitcoin. And that was, again, a window, the only window I had given for an all-time high since May or since April of last of earlier this year. So as of right now, um, and I also predicted that we would get a major upward window on 11.8 the other day, or we just had another window break for all-time high. So basically, Bitcoin's... A, now in a zone where it'll be harder to nail the exact day of the all-time high because it's in just an every day it's kind of going to be breaking records. Um, I shouldn't say it every day, but it's just in kind of a more more of a phase now that's a little bit trickier. But I do have some predictions already set up for that for those who've taken the last class eight financial astrology class on Mercury as the key to fortune. You've already gotten those dates, and everybody's been very happy with that. The first two weeks have been nailed. Um, very accurate, I've been told. Not perfect, but very accurate is what everyone's telling me. So, um, I realized I hadn't even shared this yet. You know, we're, <laughs> we're already moving on. These things just happen, have been happening so fast and I'm busy and I have other clients and readings and things I gotta do. So I forgot to share that, yeah, we nailed that all-time high a month ago in on October. Um, so I'll share the image here. You guys should be able to see the picture of the tweet where I tweeted, you know, if we don't get an all-time high by October 15th, between the 15th to the 22nd should be able to bring that about. And that's exactly what happened. Um, hopefully I can share the screen right now of the charts of TradingView where it shows how much of an increase we got exactly on the 15th. The 15th was the peak change day, the euphoria moment where it all changed and then everybody had to buy in as it was rallying and then the next week was when we broke that record. And then, um, yeah, now I'll just share with you guys the chart. So if you can see the chart, you can kind of see that um, at that at that prediction was basically when the moon would align with Jupiter and Saturn and then these would all be trining with the sun. And if you've been following my courses or taking them or even watched my free YouTube videos, you know that I've already rectified the Bitcoin chart and this is again what I'm doing all this off of. So um, a lot of people aren't even that good at rectification because you have to be a really good astrologer to rectify a chart because that literally means you're predicting it in, in backwards, reverse engineering the correct time. So we didn't know, we reverse engineered the correct location, everything for Bitcoin. It's worked unbelievably well. Bitcoin is a Leo Lagna. Watch my video on that, you know, if you're interested in that. But for Leo, this was all perfectly lining up in uh, 
the seventh house of business and trade, this moon and Jupiter, and then it was in an openly friendly aspect to the sun, the lord of Leo, the lord of Bitcoin, essentially. And there were a lot of other things that I went over in the courses that I can't really remember. But if you see that chart, hopefully I got that pulled up so you can see that, you know, this alignment was going on. And then that uh, full moon that would meet in Aries, that full moon would happen in the ninth house, the most auspicious house. So there's a zillion other reasons that are more technical that I can't get into. But just for even a novice should be able to see like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Like why that was an auspicious time. And hopefully that kind of makes some connections for the beginners. Um, I don't bring this up to increase my own, like, look at me, self-importance. I'm, I mean, I have to share this stuff though, or else people will not know, you know, and they won't know how good Jyotish and tropical Vedic astrology really is as a system. Um, and they might go on, you know, believing other people, um, who say other things that aren't accurate. So I'm sharing this for the sake of Vedic astrology and for astrology and financial astrology to be taken more seriously in the future um, Not to try to bring up my own self-importance and that's the thing is I'm teaching people how to do this And now my students are getting really really good at this and it's making me really happy the last couple of weeks my a lot of students have been Sharing really insightful things also just about charts about people not even with markets, but That's been making me really happy. So anyone can learn these skills and uh, that's, you know, that's what I'm doing, you know? Also, I should say that um, if you can even be an astrologer and predict the direction of the markets on a regular basis, that's amazing. So don't, uh, you know, if don't worry about being able to predict an exact day that a record was broke. I just did that because people were telling me if I was really good at astrology, I should be able to do that. So I went, all right, screw it, fuck it, I'm going to do that. And then I did it. Done. So just one more thing to check off the list, but I think it's really amazing if an astrologer can even predict consistently like 80% of the time, whether the market's going to go up or down that day or that week, that's unbelievably good. That's really good. So, uh, and yeah, we've been able to do that and, and as well. And it's, it's actually kind of rare that we miss a day that the markets that, that we don't gauge whether they went up or down. It's just more of these specifics. But any of you guys can do this is what I'm trying to get at. So engage yourself, engage, you know, uh, do all the spiritual work, do the meditation, the yoga, all these other things, and then study, really learn your techniques, really lo learn your fundamentals and research and practice. And don't be a religious astrologer who just hears something on YouTube or in a book and just blindly regurgitates it to others thinking it's true test out every single thing you're told and research it until it flows through your veins and you know that that's the truth that's how you get the eye of the veda the which was a phrase about jyotish in ancient india because jyotish was the single most useful thing for developing your internal insight and intuition next to active meditation this is why the brahmins of ancient india outside of meditation, Jyotish was the main mental study that they were all engaged in. And uh, many gurus will tell you it's a great way to pass the time too, um, to learn astrology. So, I don't know, just a little bit here and there. Uh, I, I say that too because I've noticed that people who aren't going through like the internal shifts of within themselves and trying to do the work and, and also trying to learn the skills of wealth People who aren't doing that are the people who aren't really making a lot of money in the last year who've been doing crypto stuff. And there's a whole nother set of people who've been learning like the skills of wealth, you know, and that's really what I've been trying to teach here. My own chart said that I needed to learn more about the skills of wealth. So I finally got around to doing that. And man, it's made my life a lot better. And so that's there's two ways you can go about this stuff with markets. You know, there's like the smart way where you learn these skills kind of like the one percenters do they just learn these skills and they let their money work for them and then go on and live their lives i'm not saying you should live you should take advice from the one percenters on anything else but they clearly are doing well with money right but ethics that's a different topic but um there are a lot of skills and things you can really learn from that and that's how you should be doing stuff if you're going to do investing but then there's this whole nother world of like what I would call the TikTok generation of people ever since GameStop, Dogecoin, all this stuff. 
and these kids just want to like 100x something or 20x or uh, they just want to gamble and they are gambling and they're losing just like gamblers lose and you never make as much money doing that as you do with venture capitalism and learning the skills of wealth so keep that in mind my course is teaching you the skills of wealth that even if crypto fails you can take these same skills into the stock market or anywhere else and just do amazing with it and i'm avoiding trying to sell people on this gambling idea all right so thanks y'all i hope you enjoy that so we nailed another all-time high another prediction um the two main all-time highs of 2021 yours truly nailed them both one shot each that's pretty freaking good um you know uh, i've got and so that's the thing is i've got some predictions already set up for this coming the rest of the month of november and so i hope that goes well but if not it's okay because we're not going to be right every time you know but yeah you guys take that course if you're if you want the predictions even if you're not trying to learn astrology if you just want the, the, the updates it's, it's worth the 25 bucks just for that if you're a big time trader all right thanks y'all take care